What's up guys, this is Mike from Jersey Connect and first things first, gotta congratulate Giannis for winning the All-Star MVP last night. Pretty much played flawless. 16 to 16 on the floor and it was a pretty entertaining game to watch overall, in my point of view at least. But today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Milwaukee Bucks City Edition jersey. I bought the City Edition jersey at Nike.com for 200 bucks. I got the authentic version. So I'm kind of excited to unbox it and see what it looks like. Milwaukee is derived from a Native American word, meaning gathering place by the water. So the state Wisconsin is bordering the two Great Lakes. You got Lake Superior and Lake Michigan. So this is where they get that design and concept for the jersey. So I feel like they put some thought into it. So that's a bonus point for me. So in today's video, what we're gonna do is unbox the jersey, take a closer look at the finer details, and hopefully help you decide if you wanna purchase this or pass on it. If you find this video helpful, an easy way to support the channel just by hitting like, hit subscribe if you keep wanting to see this type of content, and I really do appreciate it. So let's just go ahead and unbox this thing. We got nice clean packaging. All right, here we go. Boom. All right, Milwaukee. Let's see. Giannis Antetokounmpo, and let's go ahead and take a closer look at the jersey. And right here we got the back of the jersey. So you can see it has that two-tone of blue. Let's take a closer look. All right, let's go ahead and start off at the collar. So you got one whole collar piece that's stitched and attached to the jersey. And then you got a two-tone collar. So you can see they dye on one of the colors. It's blue and then you got that darker navy blue. Go to the championship patch. Nice and beautiful. And then on the Authentics, you get a rubberized or silicone um, NBA logo and it's heat pressed onto the jersey. Then, onto the Kumpo. A lot of lettering, but they're all stitched down. I'm always amazed how they get the space to <laughs> put all these letters in there. Then, we go down to the numbering. So, you see that white base? There's ventilation holes on the jersey. It's white. Then you get a kind of navy blue trim over that. And then there's another blue trim that goes on top of that. And then actually what's really cool, you can see those kind of like waves on the white. They're actually kind of like rubberized. They have like a sticky rubberized kind of finish. It's throughout the whole number actually. Don't know what that design is, but it actually looks nice. So look at that. And it's on the four. And then you see where the jerseys meet. Two different bases stitched together. And right here we got the front of the jersey. All right, let's go ahead and start off at the collar. So you still got the same type of deal in the front and in the arm openings as well. Then we go right over here, Nike Vapor Knit, large 48. And while we're here, we got the tags, retail tags, recycled tags, standard fit, Vapor Knit, and the NBA Authentic. Right here, we got the Nike swoosh. It's a white swoosh, white stitching, just beautifully stitched down. Then we got Milwaukee. You got Everything stitched down. Milwaukee, you got a white base with the black trim. And then we go down to the numbering, same style as the back. You still got those like wave designs that are on the back. Still has that rubber finish. And then right in the middle, you see where the lakes meet. You got the two-tone blue. Then we go down to the jock tag. So pretty standard stuff. You get the authentic 48, which is a large swoosh, and then this gathering place. So gathering place by the water. And that is actually heat pressed onto the jersey. And that, oh actually, hold on. Side panels, they always got the splits on the authentics. And then you can see the paper knit base. Actually, it's actually ventilated throughout the whole jersey. So on other Authentics, they're kind of like, kind of stopped in the chest area. You got that mesh 
throughout the full front and back of the jersey. Oh, that's, that's amazing. And that's the front. And this is what it looks like when you wear it. So I'm 5'6", 170 pounds, and I usually wear a medium. So I could fit medium pretty well, and it's really form-fitting. So I picked up a large because I wanted to get, um, well, wear a hoodie underneath. And so this is how it looks with the hoodie underneath. So I want to size up. <sighs> Look at that. You got the front, you got the side panel, you got the back view. So for sizing on the Authentics, I definitely recommend going true to size. So if you wear a size medium, stick with a medium. Large, stick with a large. But if you wanna wear like a hoodie underneath, like I wanna size up and the length is still nice. Like even though Authentics have a little longer length, they have that plus two inches length. It doesn't look like a dress on me. It's, it changes me a couple inches. So still works out. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, in the beginning when I first seen it drop online like i kind of was like oh what is this and then the more games i watched and i did the research of like the history and they put some thought into this jersey and then seeing it in person made me love it even more it's a cop for me I, i'm actually really happy about this purchase if you guys want to support the channel there's going to be some links in the description below and some direct links to get this jersey and uh man on to the next video guys